Hi, this is Dr. Joni and welcome to this week's Facebook Live. I'm really happy to see you here. Uh, let your friends know that I'm back and in a few minutes uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fantastic, very easy to make brain fuel that's perfect for everybody. But first, I want to talk about a few things that are really important because fat, you really need fat in your diet. Okay, um, over the last several decades we've been told that fat is bad for you, especially saturated fats. And while too much of it is true, having none of it at all is just equally as bad too. When it comes to fat, we have to realize that we need fat in our body for a number of chemical processes. You know, some of it has to do with processing vitamin D, for instance. And, uh, well, there's uh, plenty of deficiencies in that, too, today, these days, because of other misinformation. But you need fat in your brain because your brain is, indeed, mostly fat. A good 60% or more of your brain is fat. So you've got to replenish it, and you've got to do it really intelligently. Like I said, the, the low-fat and the anti-fat movement has been going on for several decades now, and it was all because of the fear of heart attacks. But did you know that actually 50% of heart attacks have nothing to do with clogged arteries? In fact, there's no sign of them. So it's really important to understand that dietary fat does not contribute to high cholesterol. And cholesterol is not a bad thing for you either. Now because of these low fat diets, it's been causing havoc, I think, with our brains too. Um, I, you know, there is research around that's talking about Alzheimer's and the connection with a low fat diets and you have to think about that because fat actually helps transmit um, synapses, you know, reaction times, uh, electrical wiring that we've got in our brain. So these are the sort of things that we have to really watch out for. Now that's why I want to talk about fats today and show you a very easy to make brain fuel that really is good for everybody. And what I've got here is flaxseed. Okay? So I've got about three teaspoons in here. So three teaspoons, three teaspoons makes up one serving. Okay? Three teaspoons makes up one serving. And when you grind it up, you get quite a bit more out of it. So you're going to get four tablespoons. You're going to get four tablespoons out of every three teaspoons of whole flax seed. It's pretty amazing. So again, three teaspoons of whole flax seed. Take a look at that. We'll give you four tablespoons of ground flaxseed. Now, this is the least expensive way of getting an extremely good fat. In fact, Mahatma Gandhi used to say that when people ate flaxseed, included in their diet, their health was very good because the thing is, is that it's not just good for the brain. It's also good for your skin, keeping it nice and soft and young looking. And it's, it's good for curbing appetite as well. It's got a lot of fiber in it. It's got amino acids in it. And the nice thing about flaxseed is that it's virtually insect proof naturally. So it doesn't need to be grown uh, organically. You can just buy it off the shelf. Now the thing is, too, is that with fine seed oils like this, you need to eat them fresh as fresh as possible. So, you know, the stuff that you see in grocery stores, if, if flaxseed oil, because it's so delicate and it's so, um, and it's so sensitive towards sunlight, it's going to grow rancid very quickly. 
So if you're finding flaxseed oil that's being sold in bottles, in grocery stores, in clear bottles, it's probably rancid already. So you're wasting your time and your money buying it. The other thing is, is that it should also be refrigerated if it's in oil form already. Because if it's left outside, you know, to, to room temperature, again, it's very uh, sensitive to sunlight, then it's going to get rancid as well, even though it's sealed, okay? But, and of course, as soon as you unseal that cap, well, air gets into it and the oxidation process starts. So that's why I only eat whole flaxseed. And I've been doing this for, well, probably since 1994, long before I became a doctor of Chinese medicine. So um, this is one of the ways that you can keep yourself very healthy in so many different ways. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got this blender. It's my good old Osterizer commercial blender that I bought gosh, probably 30 years ago and it's still going strong because it's all metal. And some of the good things that are, um, what you will do is that you will put this in here, okay? And we'll grind it up and I'll be right back with another ingredient that I was going to get for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so you're going to put about one cup of almond breeze, in this case almond milk, or since fat is really good with citric juices, okay, this lemonade is really excellent for it as well. So that's what that looks like, and this is what that looks like. So I'm going to mix this flaxseed that I put in here, three teaspoons, into this blender with about one cup of this. And I actually have oh, it looks like I have exactly one cup in here. <laughs> I'm going to mix it up. Put it on high. earlier. Now I had it covered up with this and it was in the fridge because remember flaxseed is very sensitive to sunlight and air so I had it in the refrigerator and covered up with this and now stir it up and you can just drink it like this. And I love the taste but even better, I love the feeling after I've had, excuse me, my serving. And I guess you can have this a few times a week, three to four times a week. Uh, you can put it in a smoothie. You can drink it like this uh, at breakfast time while you're preparing other foods. So, you know, while it's sitting there and, in, and getting nice and softened up to make it easier for digestion. You know, you can be preparing other foods and wait for this to get ready. So I would uh, leave this for about 20 minutes, okay? So this is the best way in order to get your flaxseed oil, to get your fat into your diet, which is good for you. And like I said, it's going to be good for so many different things, not just for your brain, but for your entire body and for the way you feel, okay? So until next week, um, enjoy your flaxseed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the Facebook comments and I'll be answering them as soon as I can get to them, okay? So have an awesome week. Bye.